welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a quite requested video obviously people you know my channel's only small people don't usually request videos but a lot of people have requested this video for months ever since i started doing my body shop full range reviews i've done the vitamin c range and the drops of youth range and i'm not sure if i've done anything else yet but I today I'm doing the vitamin E range so that's what this video is going to be I'm going to be reviewing the products the ones that I've tried and currently using and anything that I haven't tried I will read reviews of them online so I'm going to try and go through their website just look at what products they've got and just see which ones I've tried and haven't I've tried quite a lot of them hence why I can make this video but I kind of think that although I haven't tried them all and I'm still just going to be reading reviews online it's kind of like a visual review of the range as a whole so it means that you don't have to go onto the body shop's website and look on each product and look and read through the reviews i will just do that in this video for you so i'm sorry for those that products that i haven't actually tried but i'm still going to read out the reviews so don't mind at me too much this is the joke i swear for goodness sake Rolled. It's rolled. It rolled. I thought uh, three products down there. I thought I'm missing a product. It had rolled. It's okay. So this will probably be quite a long chatty video so grab a drink I've got my little cup here whatever it's called takeout cup um, which says mornings are tough but so am I so grab yourself a drink because you have to have a drink when you're watching my videos because they tend to be quite rambly so go and grab one and then come back okay now we shall begin if I miss anything out that they do actually sell in that range it's because i've gone onto their website and i'm going on to what they've displayed in their range so if there's anything missing in this video it's because it's not on that section of their website so don't blame me it says there's 16 products so the first product i'm going to show you is the one that i'm currently using i'm only actually currently using one product from the vitamin e range in my routine i do have a variety of other body shop products from different ranges i do believe that you can just mix and match between the ranges you don't have to get everything from one range and in fact i would recommend you mixing and matching for different products but i have this here which is the body shop vitamin e obviously i don't need to say that but it's the sink in moisture sleeping mask it says it's got protective vitamin e and moisturizing wheat germ oil but this is 100 mils this one and basically it's an overnight mask and it's not a typical face mask so you don't feel it on your skin it feels like a really thick moisturizer which i kind of like i love things like this i don't actually use this overnight i use this in the daytime when i'm not wearing makeup which is probably one to two times a week maybe two to three actually two one two or three times a week whatever i'm doing i will not wear makeup and i will do my normal morning skincare routine which is very minimal and then i will apply this afterwards and it just means that because i'm not wearing makeup during the day i can take advantage of the fact that my skin's got nothing on it and therefore i can use things like this so instead of using it at night i just use it during the day and i don't touch my face during the day and you shouldn't <laughs> so don't do that because you may get spots but i would recommend this as just a product to either use at night or to use during the day because that's what i use it for but like i said it's a thick texture it makes my skin feel really soft and just and just you know you just want to stroke your face but i just said don't touch your face so don't do that but it does make your skin feel really 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 soft so yeah i really like this and i would recommend it compared to a couple of other things like this that i've tried in the past with different brands and stuff this one is the best so i would recommend but it does last me quite a long time because it's not that often that i don't wear makeup and as for this product i would give this an 8 out of 10 would i repurchase it possibly but i'm i like to try new things so i might try something else in the future instead but i would if there was nothing else out there now i'm going to show you two products that i have to hand that have run out so they're empty products i do sometimes keep my empty bottles of things that i've used from the body shop so that i can either make an empties video or i can make body shop videos and just show the product because it's just nicer to show it than to just you know just talk about it i want to show you something so these are empty products that i have had for ages the first one is this toner it's the vitamin e hydrating toner and it's for all skin types the whole range says it's for all skin types i believe 
yeah it does and this is a really nice toner this is quite a contradiction to a lot of toners because a lot of toners are quite drying what i find anyway they are quite drying especially the body shop seaweed one i may review the seaweed range at some point as well so let me know if you want that but that is quite drying and it does actually give me a bit of dry skin whereas this one is super hydrating so i would recommend if you have dry skin to go for something like this and it feels really nice and like almost gel like on the skin like it is a little bit of a kind of like it is a liquidy consistency but it's also got like a gel like feel to it i don't know if you've tried this try and explain it better please because i can't but i really like this and it's actually a product that i would repurchase there's still a little bit in the bottom actually um but it's like a yeah like a really kind of nice almost a serumy feel to it which i really like and it does feel really plumping to the skin and hydrating and yeah i really like this I would rate this product a nine out of 10. When, as toners go, this is a really good one. I like it. And would I repurchase this? Yes, actually I would repurchase it. And that's saying a lot because I'm not the biggest toner fan. Like I'm not, you know, really heavily into my toners. Next product we have is the Vitamin E Gel Moisture Cream. And this is for normal to combination skin. So this one doesn't say for all skin types. Now, this is the product that got me hooked on gel moisturizers and I never looked back. I much prefer a gel moisturiser. The skincare that I used before my gel moisturiser just makes the application of gel moisturisers so much nicer. It just sinks straight into the skin. When it comes to more kind of creamy based moisturisers or products, it, it just takes some rubbing in and it almost like, you know, you can see streaks on my face. I don't know, maybe that's just the skincare that I happen to use. But when it comes to gel moisturisers, I just love how they sink straight into the skin. They make your skin really nice and glowy and hydrating. And this is why I was inspired to make my product on my website, which is my gel moisturiser, my hydrating gel moisturiser. So go and check out my Etsy and eBay linked in the description if you want to go and check that product out. It's what I make myself and sell and package and everything like that. So if you order one, it will come straight from me with a little note of course that's where i got the inspiration from i do really love this product there is only 50 milliliters in here which i don't think is very much like that's not much at all like it's a tiny little bottle and i definitely put more product in mine but i think there probably is a bigger size but for the price i'm not sure what this is price wise but it was a nice product but it is quite small as you can see and you would run out quite quickly but i just in general gel moisturizers are amazing and i would recommend to look into them if you you know have ever if you've never tried them before so i would you know recommend looking into them and this one in particular i would rate it um an eight or nine out of ten i did really like it but if you want to get a gel moisturizer go click the link in the description to my ebay or my etsy if you want i'm not forcing you today also got i'm now looking on their website <laughs> right so these are things that some of them i may have tried some of them i may not have tried the vitamin e moisture cream so have i tried that i think i have i think yeah this is just their normal moisturizer i have tried this one and it isn't a gel moisturizer whereas the one i've just showed you so gel on it the one that this is is not a gel consistency so if you don't like gel moisturizers or you want something a little bit kind of thicker or you've got dry skin the gel moisturizers are great for oily skin and combination skin whereas i think if you've got dry skin you should probably stick towards this kind of product it's a nice product it's nicely moisturizing it's nothing special i wouldn't say it's revolutionary when i tried it i didn't think oh you know this is an amazing moisturizer i just liked it and that was it okay the next one is the vitamin e day lotion spf 30 now this is something i haven't tried and i will give you my reasons as to why i don't try the products that i haven't tried I haven't tried this because it just looks like the kind of bottle that I would just find to be annoying. I like squeezy tubes or like a little pot. I don't really like things like that are in a pump or something like that. I, I don't know. I just don't like it. But I could be wrong. I may try it in the future. I've used the Body Shop Vitamin C SPF and also the spf i think it's from the drops of light range i'm not sure but i use both of those and i love them both so i think i would stick to the vitamin c one and not branch out and try this one but you never know but it says it's a lightweight milky formula to moisturize and protect your skin against uva and uvb damage it locks in moisture for 48 hours 
of hydration, leaving skin feeling soft and smooth. Oh, it says it's got hyaluronic acid in it. Hyaluronic acid is a very good ingredient for hydration. Let's read some reviews. Okay, so the overall sort of star rating is 4.5 out of 5, and that's with 336 reviews. And somebody says it's too runny. Interesting. The day cream is really runny, not very easy to handle as it drips off your fingers easily that's the first review that i read somebody said a positive one great for sensitive skin they have very sensitive skin it's fantastic beats all the other lotions that they have tried and it was a lovely texture so you can see how some people will always love a product and some people will hate it like you you can't have a product that everybody loves so you have to bear that in mind and somebody else said it's perfect for dehydrated and sensitive skin Somebody put, awful, not a great product. Their version of SPF 50 in a white and pink tube was amazing. That's the one I've got, very good. It's a shame they no longer sell. This stuff is just too greasy. They do sell it. Or am I thinking of a different one? Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Someone, and they said it's too greasy. And another person said it's too greasy. So that this is interesting. This is interesting. I'm learning from this video. Okay, they then got their Vitamin E Intense Moisture Cream, which I think is more for either really dry skin and dehydrated skin or for like older skin types. The younger you are, it tends to be like a lighter formula. However, um, this one is a lot more thicker. I haven't personally used this one, but it is like a step up from the one that I have used. The heck is that? Oh, it's my hair. It's in like a little ponytail at the top. Can you see that? It's cute. Um, but this one says it's 72 hours hydration, whereas the other one was 48. So we're stepping up with this one. Oh, it's got raspberry seed oil in it and fast absorbing apparently. Um, but in terms of actual reviews from people, it has 847 reviews and it's got a 4.7 out of 5 star rating. It says it's good but pricey. Although it's a good product, I think it's quite expensive. Someone put, brilliant, I highly recommend this face cream. Quickly absorbed and gives the, the skin a soft. Okay, they, they can't spell. <laughs> they don't have good grammar, that person doesn't, because that did not come out right. Sorry, I'm actually on one knee because um, my third is dying. Some A negative review is, did not get delivered. That's not really a negative review about the product, though. That's about the delivery. Um, absolutely useless for people with very dry skin. Complete waste of money interesting i haven't tried the product so i can't you know argue against that or anything um waste of money a poor moisturizer that is not worth the money at all since it's a little tub yeah that's the thing that they are only small tubs and you don't get that much in it so it does disappear quite quickly the size of that one is 15 pounds for 50 mil which is what this is so that is quite a lot of money for a small pot like that but then again there are moisturizers out there that are like 300 pounds so you know what are we comparing it against i don't know um the next one is the vitamin e eye cream i haven't personally tried the eye cream because i don't really understand eye creams as much i know i probably should because i'm heavily into skincare and i really love it but when it comes to eye creams, that's just not my like field of interest at all. I just have no idea what's going on. I have an eye gel, you know, I'm all about the gels. And personally, I don't know if an eye gel is, is the way to go forward, if I'm honest. I don't know if they do much. I would say it's quite cooling, but when it comes to a, a creamy product, that's probably the way to go. So obviously this is a creamy product, but the one I've got is a gel. So I'll read out a few of the reviews. It's got a 4.4 out of 5 star rating and that's with 533 reviews. Someone says, it's really hydrating. It hydrates my skin and keeps the under eye shadows at bay. It gives bright eyes, perfect for sensitive skin. Let's have a look at some negative ones. Use two whole tubes and still hasn't worked. Well, sometimes when it comes to products, especially eye creams, you can't expect absolute miracles to happen, but it didn't reduce their dark circles at all, they basically said. It says, somebody's put great product, um, the delivery experience was poor, and they put one star. I don't think that's very fair because you shouldn't review a product based on delivery. You should review the product based on the product. So that's not a good one. Um, then got the vitamin E overnight serum in oil. Now this is something I want to try. This is something I'm gonna try in the future because I am really heavily getting into serums and things like that, just different kind of products to add to your skincare routine. Um, so that's what I'm getting into, but I haven't tried this. It says, it says it's for all skin types and it says, our vitamin E overnight serum in oil is a mega hydrator. It has all the effectiveness and potency of a serum combined with the lush, moisturizing feel of a face oil. I really wanna try this product. 
So I'm kind of glad I did this video because I didn't know that they had that. So I'm surprised I haven't tried that. Um, someone put perfect nightcap for my face, five stars. Um, but overall it's got 4.6 out of five stars and that's with 486 reviews. Someone just put, oh is the smell. The serum is amazing, it made my skin so smooth. But the smell, but I woke in the night and my bed sheets and pillow reeked of a really musty, difficult to describe nasty smell. That person's really not happy about the smell. <laughs> I, um, what does it smell like? Pfft, who knows? Who knows? It probably doesn't smell bad. Um, the toner done that. Vitamin E body butter. I didn't realise they did body butters. That's might maybe something I would try. In fact, it's not. £16 for a body butter and I've got a ton in my cupboard. I do actually use body butters now, but I have a t When it comes to my face, I'm happy to spend the money because this is my face, but... I'm happy with a cheap, you know, body butter for anywhere else. Jesus Christ, they've got so many products. My legs are absolutely gone. Give me, give me two minutes. Hello, I'm back. Right, coming to a product I've actually tried. This is the Vitamin E Gentle Face Wash. They've got two face washes and this is more of a foamy consistency one. I don't have the empty of it because I must have thrown it out because I did use it a while ago. I liked it. It is the kind of product I'd recommend for sensitive skin because it just it's just gentle and nice and I kind of like facial washes that do a little bit more, you know, you can feel them really working and it's a bit stronger. So I'm going to give it a, a 7 out of 10, but for somebody it would be a 10 out of 10. It is a really good product and it's not too expensive either. I think it's £8.50. Then we've got the Vitamin E Cream Cleanser, which I've also tried and this is really nice. This is quite hydrating. And which is quite unusual when it comes to facial washes because I personally think of a facial wash, just in my opinion, as something that really cleanses the skin, not necessarily there to, you know, hydrate. But this actually does really soften the skin and I really liked it for that. And it maybe is something I'd rebuy in the future. I'm not the kind of person that likes stuff like that usually, but for some reason I did really like that. And I did like the feeling of how my skin did feel really soft after using it instead of you know kind of feeling a little bit dry which my skin does tend to feel after i've used a face wash which i kind of like i like the feeling of my skin after i've used a really harsh face wash but this is a nice product there's something about it that i like that i can't quite explain i think it's the softness um it doesn't lather up into a foam it's just super gentle on the skin it's not like a, a foam consistency in comparison to the other one that the previous um cleanser but yeah I'm going to give this product a 9.5 out of 10. Then we've got the Vitamin E Lip Care, Lip Care, Lip Care SPF 15. Um, oh, it's only £5.50. Oh yeah, but it's a lip product. Um, I haven't tried this. I, I think it's quite good that they put SPF in it because some people don't think about SPF when it comes to your lips. I don't like their hemp lip balm. Let's put it that way. So... Um, just throwing that out there. It's got 4.6 out of 5 star reviews and that's with 352 reviews. Someone put hydrating and pure lip care. They love the product. It feels very pure. It's not greasy. Somebody put two stars, not sure. Not overly keen on this. It's harder than a normal lipstick and has beeswax sort of smell. Probably does have beeswax in it to be fair because quite a lot of lip products do. We've then got the Vitamin E Skin Cooling Gel Mist. Now I think this is more of a newer product to their range and this is something that I did want to try but it's a mist. You know, it's £12, it's like water consistency. I have just a water that I use to mist my face, like literally pure water and that does me as a setting spray and I just think £12 like it's one of those things where it's like if I have loads of money then fair enough but I don't have loads of money I'm saving my money for things I want not things I don't need like this and yeah it says it's got 5.7 out of 5 star reviews that's with 62 people reviewing it remember it's new hence why there's not too many reviews oh the first review poor product really poor replacement for the original face mist please bring back the original product don't know what the original one was someone put it's an okay product but not a mist the product itself isn't bad the previous vitamin e spray they used to do was so much better this tries to replicate that but rather than a mist it's more of a heavy heavy hose style spray so it looks like people are much preferring the previous mist that they did um which is interesting so now i've read those reviews i don't think i will be getting that has my phone just crashed on me hurry up man we don't have all day 
it's 10 minutes past three i haven't had my lunch yet so please hurry up it's loading i accidentally clicked off the whole thing but you know we won't talk about that why is my foot always oh no second to last one is the vitamin e quench sheet mask it's four pounds i have tried this i am reading currently reading caroline hyron's skincare book which is amazing probably end up in my january favorites but i love that and i haven't read this in her book yet because i haven't finished the book but i'm sure she'll mention it but i know that she said in the past that she doesn't believe in sheet masks they're a waste of time and money and i love using them like as the experience but if she says that they're not so good then maybe they're not who knows but i do like the experience of it but she much prefers like proper like paint it on masks um whereas sheet masks um are just on for a few like about 15 minutes and it's kind of like a more hydrating thing i don't know i think they probably have their place but i think four pounds for just one use is quite an expensive sort of product like my face mask that i sell on my website link in the description is 5.99 it is actually eight pound 99 but i'm including delivery with that so including with discluding delivery it's five pound 99 and you can use that many 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 times and it will last you a long time whereas this is four pounds and just last you once so that's the kind of comparisons that i make and is it worth it probably not it's moisturizing it's nourishing your skin feels soft but only just after you've used it the next day i don't wake up and my skin's like really soft it's the kind of thing you'd have to keep using regularly to see results and that's the good thing about face masks that come in like you know packaging like this because you can continuously use the product this is not going to be revolutionary it's not going to change your skin it will just be nice for the time you're using it and the final product is the vitamin e night cream which i haven't used because i don't really use like night creams as such but i think it must be more of a heavy duty kind of formula than the day cream because people often want to use more heavier formulas at night time and that's mainly because in the daytime you know you're going to be moving around you're going to be sweating that kind of thing and wearing makeup it's not great to wear a really greasy kind of product under makeup hence why my skincare routine is so simple in the morning because i don't want loads of grease under my makeup um but somebody put in the reviews it's got a five a 4.6 out of five star rating and that's with 113 reviews um somebody put recently purchased january 2021 the very recent it feels heavier in texture not as light in touch she says she's going to continue to use use it but she's hoped she's not disappointed um well i would expect it to be a little bit heavier because it is a night cream someone put four stars great night cream smells pleasant um smooth and full of moisture so that's the um that's the reviews um on my phone so yeah that is everything for this video i'm sorry that i haven't tried quite a lot of them there was actually quite a lot of products in their range so if you know there was less i would have tried more um but there's a couple of things that i might want to try like the serum that we mentioned that's probably the one that i want to try and i think overall my main favorites that they do i really like the vitamin e toner i also like that cleanser that nourishing cleanser and and the gel moisturizer but i've got my own gel moisturizer now so i won't ever need to repurchase that but yeah that's everything for this video and for my review i think my worst product that i don't like from this range that i've tried i can't give one i can't give one there isn't worst one um but yeah thanks for watching let me know if there's any other ranges you want me to do please give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to see my next video which will be on friday at 9 a.m so yeah thanks for watching and see you soon goodbye